Hey everybody, the last many, many uh, videos I've made, I've um, tried to illustrate ZBrush and a little bit of 3ds Max, and, but now I'm going to show you guys um, uh, SiteGrinder. SiteGrinder is really great when you're trying to make any type of website, and it's really, really nice, especially if you use Photoshop, but it doesn't matter, it's, it's still great. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a new document, then click on the pre custom preset palette and choose web, and choose the size I'm looking for, you know, for um, slower computers and things like that, and for fancy, fancy computers. I'm going to do that just because it, it looks better and stuff, I don't know. Okay, everything else looks good. Then okay. Okay, now I've got a transparent background. I'm going to press Control shift n to create a new layer, um, let's call that BG for background. Now let's Alt Backspace to fill it with white, and then click this um, reverse button to reverse the colors because I had blue in the background and that, that would be nice for what I'm trying to do right now. So. In the upper left, click and drag down to, uh, let's click to the very bottom. Yeah, okay, that's nice. And then, let's make a red, and then do the exact opposite. Click in the very bottom right, all the way to the very top left. Okay, now we've got red and blue. Um, now, let's make some text. Okay, here are this colors. Doesn't really matter what color it is. Let's make this black just so nobody's confused. Okay, and then make sure that this doesn't have sharp or crisp or anything like that. It has none. That is very important for what we're trying to do. Okay, now let's. Now the text layer is still activated, but I can't click anything because I'm on this previous text layer. So hold down shift and click in this blue area and that should make a new text. Let's try it again. Okay. Hold down shift and you can see that new text thing. Then left click with your mouse. That creates a new text area and then let's call this blue and move it over right there. Then press Control A, select this black box right here, change the color to white. Okay, then click this layer 2, then press Control J to duplicate that layer, and then Control T to enter transform mode where you can move this around or do whatever you want to it. Press Control Z to undo whatever you're not happy with. Click in the middle. Or, no, I'm sorry. The very, very middle is the pivot point, which you can adjust to, you know, rotate it however you want to. No. Um, which is nice, or can be nice to, at times, um, but press Control Z, then Control Alt Z. Wait, no, that's not going to work. Okay, press uh, Backspace, or no, sorry, not Backspace, uh, Escape. Escape exits transform mode and brings it back to the position it was previously. So press Control T and move this blue down into the red. Then with the text tool selected, select the blue and name it red. Still in white, but I will show you in just a few seconds. Okay, now let's left click once. And then twice, uh, I don't know, it's like, yeah, S select the text twice pretty quickly to uh, rename it, and then do this, and button, okay, that works, then double click, double click on the text, this, and uh, button, hyphen, I think, double click, button okay now we're set 
Okay, now, um, press file, save as, and then pick a location. I've created a folder named T, just to use this as an example. Okay, then save as PSD example, or whatever you want to. Press OK. Okay, now that it's saved, press, or sorry, uh, go file, uh, automate, then click site grinder, loading. This is so fancy. The first time I used this, I was like, caffeine for a week, woohoo! <laughs> okay, um, and it tells you, okay, this is ready to be, um, you know, compressed or calculated or whatever. Uh, zero errors and three warnings. I don't know. Uh, warnings are. I don't know. Don't let that get in your way. Especially right now that we're still trying to learn stuff. Okay, go to your build and deploy tab. Uh, make sure that your example is uh, selected. Otherwise, you can't build it. So, select it. Build it. And. Okay. In another palette, it is working, but let's go over this. What it's doing is it's going through your file, and it's doing all its calculations and stuff. Okay, now it's done, so let's drag that over. And these are all the pages that you have, and we're just working on one file, so uh, double-click this. And now this is our, our page. And... Apparently, it, it still remembered uh, when we created those text layers within Photoshop and we chose. Um, okay, let's go back. Oh, never mind. Um, we chose none as the style. That gave us. You see these uh, drop down um, boxes? Text button and menu style. Yeah. Um, this is what it would look. Uh, hold on. Uh, press new style. And then name it whatever you want to. So this one will be named colors. Okay, now, the way it is right now, um, you can choose how it would look. So, the color should be black. Okay. And then, let's see, um, okay, let, let's just, okay, apply, close, okay, colors, yeah, okay, colors, then red, yeah, let's not worry about these things yet, um, okay, now, click on colors and then edit okay we're working on the colors palette so the way it looks right now the foreground color will be black right and I don't know this doesn't really work very well so let's just try it just to show you what it it brings that up I'm not sure what that does you'd probably be able to, um, I don't know, but that doesn't look really great, especially for what we're doing right now. So un uncheck that, and um, when we hover over that, wait, okay, apply, yeah, when we hover over colors, let's change its effects. So it'll be bold and italic, um, and then uppercase. So let's see. Apply. Ding. Cool. So that that's fancy. But we want to give it a little bit more, so let's go into the colors. Now, when we hover over this, it'll change to um, green. I like green. Green's a good color. Especially when you're trying to, I don't know, illustrate something. Okay, apply. So now it'll be this color. 
<clears throat> then I'm not sure if it was box shadow or text shadow, so I'm just going to see what it was. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, text shadow, I think. Yeah. And then um, feather 20. I think that'll work. Cool. Now you see that uh, feathered look that the um, shadow has. Now let's offset it a little bit. So on the X it'll be 10 over and then 10 down. Let's apply that, see what that looks like. Cool. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now borders. Um, okay. All width, border top. Yeah, let's just see what all that does. Apply. Um, not much. Oh, okay. Nope, nope. Um, rounded. Um, let's see what that does. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Okay, menu. Oh, yeah, I don't think this does much either. Okay, so let's... Okay, when we click on it, let's change it further. So it'll look green, but when we click on it... Um, okay, that... Um, oh yeah, when we click... Okay, we hover over it, it turns green, but when we click on it, it will... Let's change the foreground color to red. Red... No, uh, orange. That's, that's a good color. Yeah, okay, so apply. Okay, now it's black, it's green, then we click on it and it turns orange, which is pretty cool. And then it, it uh, yeah, pretty orange. fancy. And then, okay, let's, okay, that's done with that. Okay, close. Now that's what color looks like. Let's change, I've pre previously made a blue button and a red button with this similar, um, I, I don't know. Uh, similar stuff we've done already. So, okay, this one is red. There doesn't seem to be a red one here, so let's make a red one. Okay, let's name this red. And then normally it looks, um, looks white. Okay. Okay, there's white. And when we click on it, it will be bold and it will be, oh, click the foreground color and then it'll be red. Okay, click, okay, that that's good. And, okay, apply, and then let's change to blue, just to make sure it's what we want. Um, okay, I think that works. Um, okay, now let's um, view our, what we have so far, let's zoom out a little bit, okay, now when we hover over colors, it turns green, when we click on it, it turns orange, and then when we hover over red, it turns red, which is hard to see because it's on the red, and blue turns blue, because of what we did right there, so, that is pretty exciting with Sight Grinder, and stay tuned for another video where I will teach you just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Thanks everybody.